Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, first we will discuss equation of a plane in normal form. A plane is determined uniquely if we know the normal to the plane and its distance from the origin. That is, if we know the equation of a plane in normal form. Consider a plane which is at the perpendicular distance d from the origin where d is not equal to 0. Vector O n is the normal from the origin to the plane and n cap is the unit normal vector along O n. Let P be any point on the plane with coordinates x, y, z. Position vector of P is vector r with respect to the origin. So, equation of a plane which is at a distance d from the origin and n cap is the unit vector normal to the plane through the origin so the equation is given by vector r dot n cap is equal to d this is the vector equation of the plane then next we have equation of a plane which is at a distance d from the origin and direction cosine of the normal to the plane R L M N then the equation is given by Lx plus My plus Nz equal to D. This is the Cartesian form of the equation of the plane. If the vector equation of the plane is given as vector R dot Ai cap plus Bj cap plus Ck cap equal to D, then we have Ax plus By plus Cz equal to D is the Cartesian equation of the plane where A, B, C are the direction ratios of the normal to the plane. We need to find the vector equation of a plane which is at a distance of 7 units that is we have d equal to 7 from the origin and which is normal to the vector given by vector n equal to i cap plus 2j cap minus 2k cap. Now n cap is equal to vector n upon magnitude of vector n that is equal to i cap plus 2j cap minus 2k cap upon square root of 1 square plus 2 square plus minus 2 square and so that is equal to 1 upon 3i cap plus 2 upon 3j cap minus 2 upon 3k cap. Now the equation of the plane in vector form is given by vector r dot n cap is equal to d that is vector r dot 1 upon 3 i cap plus 2 upon 3 j cap minus 2 upon 3 k cap is equal to 7 or this could be written as vector r dot 
आई कैप प्लस टू जे कैप माइनस टू के कैप इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी वन दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड इक्वेशन ऑफ द प्लेन नेक्स्ट वी डिस्कस इक्वेशन ऑफ अ प्लेन फॉर पेंडिक्यूलर टू अ गिवन वेक्टर एंड पासिंग थ्रू अ गिवन पॉइंट लेट अ प्लेन पास थ्रू अ पॉइंट ए विद पोजिशन वेक्टर वेक्टर ए एंड पेंडिक्यूलर टू द वेक्टर एन Let R be the position vector of any point P with coordinates x, y, z in the plane. Then we have equation of a plane through a point whose position vector. is vector a and perpendicular to the vector n is given by vector r minus vector a dot vector n equal to 0 if we have the coordinates of the point a as x1 y1 z1 and coordinates of the point p as x y z and we have that a b c are the direction ratios of vector n then the equation of the plane is a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 equal to 0 we need to find the equation of the plane passing through the point p with coordinates 1 0 minus 2 and perpendicular to the vector n given by i cap plus j cap minus k cap from the coordinates of the point p we have x1 as 1 y1 as 0 and z1 as minus 2 and from this vector n we get the direction ratios as a equal to 1 b equal to 1 and c equal to minus 1 so the required equation of the plane that passes through this point p and is perpendicular to the vector n is given by a Into x minus x one plus b into y minus y one plus c into z minus z one equal to zero. That is, we have x minus one plus y minus z plus two equal to zero. That is, finally, we get x plus y minus z minus three equal to zero. this is the required equation of the plane next we discuss equation of a plane passing through three non collinear points consider three non collinear points r s t on the plane position vector of r is vector a with respect to the origin position vector of the point s is vector b position vector of the point t is vector c let r be the position vector of the point p which is in the plane so vector equation of a plane that contains three non collinear points having position vectors vector a vector b and vector c is given by vector r minus vector a dot vector b minus vector a cross vector c minus vector a equal to 
If we are given the coordinates of the three non-collinear points R, S and T, like coordinates of the point R given by X1, Y1, Z1, point S given by X2, Y2, Z2 and point T given by X3, Y3, Z3, then the equation of the plane passing through these three non-collinear points is given by determinant x minus x1, y minus y1, z minus z1, x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1, x3 minus x1, y3 minus y1, z3 minus z1 equal to 0. We need to find the equation of the plane passing through the three non-collinear points given by point A with coordinates 1, 1, 0, B with coordinates 1, 2, 1 and C with coordinates minus 2, 2, minus 1. From the point A we have x1 equal to 1, y1 equal to 1 and z1 equal to 0. From the point B we have x2 equal to 1, y2 equal to 2 and z2 equal to 1. Then from the point C we have x3 equal to minus 2, y3 equal to 2 and z3 equal to minus 1. So the required equation of the plane which passes through the points A, B and C is given by determinant x minus x1, y minus y1, z minus z1, x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1, then x3 minus x1, y3 minus y1, z3 minus z1 equal to 0. That is, we have determinant x minus 1, y minus 1, z, 0, 1, 1, minus 3, 1, minus 1, equal to 0. On solving this determinant, we get 2x plus 3y minus 3z equal to 5. This is the required equation of the plane. This completes the session. Hope you have understood how we find the equation of a plane in normal form, equation of a plane perpendicular to a given vector and passing through a given point, and equation of a plane passing through three non-collinear points.